In this session, we'll look at the very important concept that is property matching, how to add, delete, and modify of different structural objects like the slabs, deck, walls, or maybe columns and beam, and any of the type or category coming within your structure. So let me show you how to configure this and look at the different properties. Here you can see, so typically the slab material or which type of finite element you are talking about shell or link or beam and the different property designator and its typical property and maybe when you talk about the walls its typical property and its control and the thickness data and when you talk about a column or beam there you can see the rebar instances and its section properties which you need to look at that all information how to extract that will look in brief and then we we'll look inside the project to how to configure all this option which we have learned so let us apply this in our ETAPS and understand this different concept when you start a file from scratch you will be able to set the initialization and maybe a particular structure which you want to define from a scratch by using the grid system so you have some preset rules and structure property which you can reuse or you can add your own so if you go to the properties and you go for the frame section here you can see the concrete beam or column if you right click and go to modify and show here you can see for this particular set property of 18 by 18 inch you can have all the properties computed here the values area in inch square and also you can see the section property like i and the z and j and cg offset so this all informations are automatically calculated and also you can go for the reinforcement information where you can have the column or beam specific design where you can set the reinforcement configuration like rectangular or circular type in case of rectangular you can see the ties in case of circular you can have the spiral type also and that you can configure and typically you can ho have the longitudinal bar size and its cross-sectional area and that you can see these bar IDs or you can select from the pop-up option and here longitudinal bars property you can manage this particular property modify and here you can see the modulus of elasticity Poisson's ratio coefficient of thermal expansion and weight per unit volume or maybe you can specify this mass per unit volume and here you can see the property isotropic the homogeneous property and material type you can change so if you change this will be updated automatically so like this for the steel member by default this longitudinal bar cross section will be assigned and for the ties also this information will be updated and once you update this this will be shown here and you can also modify the properties here the cross section property and stiffness mass weight moment of inertia about the two axis torsional constants and then when you go for ok this property will be updated just like that in case of slab if you go to modify here you can see the typical thickness of the slab or whatever the property you need to assign here you can give your name and slabs material thickness when you go for this and go for the modify here you can see the property and you can change this particular property what about this and specific properties like the weight and mass as discussed also can be shown here and design property data also here you can get and time dependent properties for analysis also you can set for creep and shrinkage and then you can reuse it inside your project modeling type you can see which type of member you are looking at so that the meshing and all corresponding property will be automatically updated and you can have your customized note which you can add for getting information about this particular property if anything specific and also you can change your customized color 
just like that if you go for the walls here also we have same property like the typical thickness and rest of all the properties like the material and modeling type for most of the cases in ETAPs like your slabs, roofs, floors, shear walls or any type of walls here we use shell thin so where it gives designates a particular thickness and you can mesh it and by default it assigns the default meshing property so you can refine it as I have discussed in my other sessions and how to apply that that you can use so here you can see also the reinforcing bar size so this modify options gives you the bar diameter here so typically you can change this also bar area but by default all are computed and you can add a new type of bar any particular standards clear all bar and sort by ID name so these all designations you can have right click and you can add new reinforcing bar size and you can typically configure your one next we'll look at the other properties and how to apply inside your project and configure as per the instruction in our coming session thank you